everyone, it's Denise Brown from the Caregiving Years Training Academy. I had a conversation recently with a family caregiver and she talked about how she has been scheduling appointments to take care of her health. So she's going to see her doctor and her dentist and she was feeling really good about it because it just occurred to her that that's self-care too. And then she said, and I'm doing it so I can be the best caregiver for my mom. That is absolutely important. And it's also important that we do those things for ourselves because we have a future after caregiving ends. And it's so important we do whatever we can today to show up into our future, our best selves. I sometimes get frustrated because a lot of the media message around self-care for ourselves during caregiving is about being the best family caregiver possible for our caree. And again, that's true, but it misses the point. We are an individual with a life that does not always have to be about caregiving, even when caregiving swallows us up. There are two individuals in a caregiving experience, our carries and ourselves, and it's okay if our self-care is about our individual needs and about our focus on our future. That's healthy, that's good. We deserve a future. We deserve to show up in our future after caregiving ends with good health, goals, relationships, hobbies and interests that fulfill us. I can't tell you how many family caregivers I know who show up after caregiving ends into a future and they are absolutely depleted because they gave it all to caregiving. Now there are days where we have to give it all to caregiving, but we have to think about moments and hours and whatever it is that we can put together where it's about us outside of caregiving. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Our goal for ourself, our self-care definitely includes being a good family caregiver because that gives us peace of mind and that's part of self-care. But it's also about what separates us from caregiving, what allows us to be an individual with a life, even a life interrupted by caregiving. We have to focus on our own life and how we can live that life as well as possible during a caregiving experience. Years ago, I was on a webinar where a pharmaceutical company was sponsoring a Caregiver of the Year contest. And they were talking about honoring individuals who had put their life on hold. And oh my gosh, I thought, oh, we don't want anyone to put their life on hold during caregiving. We wanna create programs and services where they feel like they have a life during a life of caregiving. Let's not make everyone a hero because they give up their life because that puts everybody at a, a playing field that's just not appropriate and it's not possible and it's not healthy. Let's instead celebrate when we can figure out how it is that we keep our life during our life of caregiving. Our self-care is important for caregiving and outside of caregiving. And let's make sure that any messages we share with each other and within the media point out both sides of self-care because it's about both caregiving and outside of caregiving. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.